using basic AutoCAD for 21st century learners tutorials. The following videos are open to anyone at any level. Maybe can enthusiasts, would be CAD operators, or even novice users. You may use this as your guide in discovering or exploring AutoCAD as software as tool in developing your CAD projects. Introduction to CAD and AutoCAD software, some of the basic draw commands, as well as modified commands are comprehensively discussed in the presentation. You can play and pause the videos to furtherly understand the lesson. And don't forget to perform the tasks relevant to the lessons which will be shown after every video tutorial. This would be supplementary activities in enhancing and mastering your skills. Allow me to introduce you in CAD operation, most especially in using AutoCAD as software in starting and creating your design, is the content of the lesson one of the video tutorials. It mainly talks about what is CAD and its role in the design industry, overview about AutoCAD as software that includes brief history, the pros and cons in using the software, its AutoCAD graphics window or the interface, its special keys, the status bar toggles, and its function keys, the AutoCAD coding systems applying line command as well. When a command prompts you for a point, you can use the pointing device to specify the point, or you can enter its coordinates by typing the coordinate values in the command window or in the tooltip near the cursor when dynamic input is turned on. Given this simple problem can be solved in varied ways in plotting the points in the drawing area or space using line as draw command. Meron tayong tinatawag na Cartesian coordinate system. A Cartesian coordinate system has three axes x, y, and z. When you enter coordinate values, you indicate a point's distance and its direction, positive or negative, along the x and y, and z axis relative to the coordinate system origin, 0, 0, 0. In 2D, you specify points on the xy plane, also called the work plane. The work plane is similar to a flat sheet of grid paper. The X value of a Cartesian coordinate specifies horizontal distance and the Y value specifies vertical distance. The origin point 0, 0, indicates where the two axes intersect. Polar coordinate system. Polar coordinates use a distance and an angle to locate a point. With both Cartesian and polar coordinates, you can enter absolute coordinates based on the origin or 0, 0 or relative coordinates based on the last point specified. And the direct distance entry, another method of specifying a point by moving the cursor to indicate a direction, and then entering a distance. Note, coordinates and distances are always measured in units, which do not represent any specific type of units such as millimeters or inches. Before you start, you decide what distance one unit will represent in the drawing. Through the use of units command, you can now decide what unit of measurement you will be using in creating your drawings. You can enter coordinates in scientific, decimal, engineering, architectural, or fractional notation. You can enter angles in grads, regions, surveyors units, or degrees, minutes, and seconds. The units command control the unit format. Coordinates normally reference a movable user coordinate system or the UCS, rather than the Fixed World Coordinate System, WCS. By default, the UCS and WCS are coincident. You can use absolute or relative polar coordinates, distance and angle, to locate points when creating objects. Sa paggamit ng polar coordinates to specify a point, enter a distance and an angle separated by an angled bracket or less than sign. By default, angles increase in the counterclockwise direction and decrease in the clockwise direction. To specify a clockwise direction, enter a negative value for the angle. For example, entering 1 less than 315 after entering the first point having coordinate values of 0, 0 locates the same point as entering 1 less than negative 45 with the same 0, 0 coordinate values after moving the UCS icon. You can change the angle conventions for the current drawing with the units command. 
Sa polar coordinate systems ay mayroon din tayong tinatawag na absolute polar coordinates at ang relative polar coordinates. Absolute polar coordinates are measured from the UCS origin 0,0, which is the intersection of the x and y axis. Use absolute polar coordinates when you know the precise distance and angle coordinates of the point. Naipresenta sa halimbawang ito ang kailangan alalahanin natin sa paglapat ng mga point sa ating work plane. Type the distance less than polar angles bilang format in plotting the points. We need to consider the distances of the points from the origin and its angle. With dynamic input, we specify absolute coordinates with the hashtag or number sign prefix. If you enter coordinates on the command line instead of in the tooltip, the number sign or the hashtag prefix is not used at para maging safe tayo in attaining the exact location, you can off the dynamic input in the status bar or just press F12 key to off it. Using the example, let us again plot the points to create another drawing, but we need first to move the UCS icon to change its origin. Left click the icon, pick it using again the left button, then move the mouse to move the UCS icon and left click again to your desired location. Type L as shortcut key for line command as drawing command, hit enter or spacebar key, and let us plot point 1 using the absolute Cartesian coordinate. Type 0, 0 as the coordinate value of the first point. And this will be our origin of the rest of the points of the object. Next, let us plot the second point using the absolute polar coordinate format. Distance less than polar angle based on the given example. Point 2 is having a distance of 6 from point 1 or the origin at mayroong angle na 90 degrees kung counterclockwise o negative 270 kung clockwise. Pero pareha sila lang naman ang lalabas ng direction after plotting. Gamitin na lang natin ang 90 degrees. So type 90 and press enter or spacebar key. At ayan, papuntang taas ang ating linya with corresponding distance which is 6. Ipagpatuloy natin. The third point which is 6.7 ang distansya nito from the origin or first point and having 63 degrees angle. Type again the distance which is 6.7 less than 63 degrees and hit enter key. Next point, point 4 type 4.2 as the distance from the origin or the first point. Type the angle bracket or the less than sign and the polar angle which is 45 degrees and enter it. Moving on to the fifth point. Type 8 bilang distansya nito. Type the angle bracket or the angle sign and enter polar angle which is 0 o maaari rin 360 degrees and press enter or space bar key. And that's it. Let us connect from point 5 to point 1. You can type the absolute Cartesian coordinate which is 0, 0, or you can use the absolute polar coordinate by typing 0 as the distance, the angle bracket or the less than sign, and 0 bilang polar angle nito, and hit enter or space bar key. So that's how the concept of absolute polar coordinate plays in plotting points in the working area to create your project. You can use it as long as you know the exact distance and angles of the points from the origin or your first point. Relative coordinates are based on the last point entered. Use relative coordinates when you know the location of a point in relation to the previous point. To specify relative coordinates, proceed the coordinate values with an at sign. Use at distance less than polar angle format in solving relative polar coordinates. To specify relative coordinates, proceed the coordinate values with an at sign. For example, type L for line command and press enter or spacebar key. Pick first point at any location, enter at 1 less than 45 degrees. It specifies a point at a distance of 1 unit from the last point is specified at an angle of 45 degrees. The following example shows a regular shape with relative polar coordinates. 
it was solved after defining the previous point to solve the next point. Let's try solving the drawing using the distance and angle of the points applying the format in using relative polar coordinates. Move the UCS icon to change the origin. Left click the icon, pick it using again the left button, then move the mouse to move the UCS icon and left click again to your desired location. Type again L for line and press enter. Enter 0, 0, as the coordinate values of point 1. Next is plotting point 2, that point 2 is relative to point 1. It specifies a point at a distance of 6 units from the last point or the point 1, and specified at an angle of 90 degrees. Point 3 was specified after considering 3 unit distance from point 2 as the last point at an angle of 0 or 360 degrees. Same with point 4 that is relative to point 3 with a distance of 3 at an angle of 270 degrees. And continues defining point 5 that is relative to point 4 with a distance of 5.831 at an angle of 329 degrees. To close the shape, you can type the absolute Cartesian coordinate values 0, 0 or by typing the relative polar coordinates where point 1 is relative to point 5 na kung saan ay may distansya itong 8 units at an angle of 180 degrees. Kung sa tingin nyo ay madali ang paggamit ng relative polar coordinates in performing your CAD projects, always consider the distance and angle of the next point to the previous point to exactly connect points and arrive at certain drawing. Thank you.